Uh, so in this video I'm talking about sample space. It's really important that we understand what sample space is. And first and foremost, sample space is a list. A lot of people fall into the trap of thinking that sample space is a number. It's not. It's a list. It's a list of all possible outcomes. Okay, so if we're doing an experiment, all the possible things that can happen, that's what our sample space is. So if you flip a coin, our sample space is heads and tails. If you, if you roll a dice, our sample space is one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, what else have we got? If, let's say you flip two coins. This is where people get confused about sample space. If you flip two coins, the sample space is heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, or tails, tails. You can see they, they look identical, but they're not. One's heads, one's tails, one's tails, one's heads. Uh, so that's sample space. Now, sometimes you'll be asked, what is the size? What is the size of the sample space? Now, if you're asked what is the size of the sample space, then we can start talking about two, four, six. But it's important that you understand that the sample space is first and foremost a list. This, this, this. It's only if we start talking about size that we can start putting individual numbers to our sample space. So if you only get one thing out of this video, this word here. Sample space is a list.